Hello everyone, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Wario's Trapped Within, where we will be taking on Knife 5 in this video. So without further ado, we will take on Knife 5 and see what has to offer for us. Alright, we get a phone call. Hello? Which there's right, no dude, dialogue for night. it. I'm sure you're getting close to getting out of there now. And, uh, is it just me, or have the police been really active lately? Oh, wait, you actually wouldn't even really know, because there's no windows for you to look out or even hear the sirens, so sorry about that. Anyways, uh, where are you? Um, I I'm sorry. The cellar? The cellar? Uh, I'm sorry, but th there's no cellar in that house. Um, did, did you somehow hallucinate, get out of the house, and find yourself to some abandoned building or something? There's no cellar in there. We, we investigated it. Are you trying to tell me you somehow found a cellar, but a team of investigators didn't? Okay. I have zero idea how on earth you could have found that cellar. But, uh... I'm... Actually, sorry, I can't honestly help you that much. I, well, actually, uh, can you give me, like, a general idea of what it looks like? A doorway to the left, right, and middle, and a giant hole? Okay, then, that's odd for a seller's layout, but okay. Uh, if anyone should enter from the left or right, look away from them. Like, you know, it's the opposite. And make sure to, uh, make sure to keep an eye on the middle, and, uh... Oh wait, okay, uh, make sure you, uh, use that night, uh, there's a night vision on your camera in case it's too dark, because, uh, for some reason, I'm pretty sure the cameras won't work down there. I mean, if they fail sometimes, if you might go into a different room that's just too far from the central place, then it's definitely gonna fail if you're underground. Um, okay, uh... If someone comes from the middle, stare at them and they should leave. If someone is to enter the hole, I think you should try and use the night vision on your camera to look at them. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, the night vision drains your battery a lot faster, and uh... I don't know what to do, just uh, whenever you get out of there, try and find your way back to somewhere safe, because I have no idea how you found the cellar, but uh... And the phone oh, guy got no. killed Helping out Tom, by Richard sorry. McCroy. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Oh, God. Thomas is not going to survive this little game. Oh, I will, Richard. Oh, you wait and see. Oh, what a pity. He can't help you anymore. He just helped now me. Now then, let us finish what we started. My friends will Let's give do you a it. little game before I arrive. See you soon. Oh, I'm ready for you, Richard McCroy, and your gang of friends, whoever's coming, whoever we're dealing with. Okay, so, whoever comes from the left or right, we look from the opposite direction. Whoever comes from the middle, we stare at, and then whoever comes from the wall, we use the night vision. And this cellar actually looks nothing like a cellar compared to Final Fantasy Warriors 3. It looks more like an abandoned office because there's a computer there, a desk a chair and a internet and um an ethernet cable box but i mean we're in the but um the phone call and um the phone call is the same as finance warriors 3 for night 5 and we're in a cellar just like we are in the third game for night 5 but it looks a lot different though compared to the third game okay and Richard McCroy said he's going to come sometime during the night after I deal with these guys. I wonder when. And I'm assuming if he does come, then something bad is going to happen. Oh, Mario's here, so i got to use the night vision for Mario. And then I have to look to the opposite direction. I have to look the opposite direction for Wario and Waluigi. And then whoever comes in the middle will stare at. And I don't know why Mario's Jingle's playing right after he left, because it usually plays before he comes in to try to kill me. Okay. And there's a sound cue for all the characters that come in, so that's a good thing. 
I just hear like a bang sound. Oh, Luigi's here, so... Alright, Luigi I have to stare at when he comes to the middle. Wario comes from the left, Waluigi comes from the right, and I have to look in the opposite direction. Mario comes from the hole, and I have to use the night vision to stop him. Anyways. Okay. And whenever, whenever you're coming, Richard McCroy, I am ready for you. Because I'm already dealing with your your old friends. Up, oh, Wario's here. Gotta look to the right. Waluigi will look to the left. Up, oh, Mario's here. Night vision. Waluigi, look to the left. Okay, Richard McCroy hasn't came yet, so I'm getting a feeling that he's going to come either later in the night or after I beat the night. I'm not sure, though, because in Final Fantasy Warriors 3, if you go for the bad ending, he kills you at the end of the night. But I don't know. Ah, Luigi. Okay, Luigi just startled me. I don't know why he just did. God, I'm getting nervous now. Because I feel like Richard McCoy is going to be more of a threat. Than oh, there is! Speak of the devil, it's Richard McCoy. I've come to say hi. Thomas, I've come to say hi. Richard, I've come to stop you because you are now active. Okay. I'm assuming Richard McCroy is going to have the same mechanics as the others, where if he comes from left to right, we look in the opposite direction. Oh! I didn't have time to deal with Richard. Okay. Okay, so Richard McCroy attacks faster than Wario and the gang does. Okay, so for Richard McCroy, he's going to have the same mechanics as Wario in the game. If he comes from the, like I said, if he, like I was about to explain before I was rudely interrupted by him, if he comes from the left or right, look in the opposite direction. If he comes from the middle, shine the light at him. And if he comes from the hole, put the night vision up. I didn't think, I did not think Richard McCroy could come from the hole. I mean, he's a human. He's not an animatronic. How can he fit through that hole? Like, what the heck? Anyways, and for Richard McCrory, we only have a flashlight for when he comes because he turns off the power for some reason and then announces that he's here saying, Thomas, I kind of say hi. Now prepare to die. And I didn't point, and, and I didn't point this out, but, um, Richard McCrory's jump scare has Peach coming out of his body because... In this game and in Finance Warriors 3, Richard McCroy is possessed by Peach. And he is possessed by Luigi in Finance Warriors 2. And then in Finance Warriors 1 and 4, he's not possessed because you play as him. Finance Warriors 2, though, he's the phone guy. Finance Warriors 3, he kills you in the bad ending, gets killed in the good ending. And then he's not in Finance Warriors Origins. And Richard McCoy, I just noticed he has a black he has black on his face. Like you can't see his face. Like it's just a plain like his like his face is blank, just like Slenderman. And he wears a suit like Slenderman does. So I guess they wanted to throw in a Slenderman reference. And I'm gonna turn the brightness all the way up so I can see Richard in the hole because I didn't think he could come from the hole. I thought he would only come from the hallways. But, oh, Waluigi just came. Now Mario came. 
And how do I know Waluigi came? Because I didn't see Wario from the left, so that's how I knew Waluigi came. And then Mario came at the same time. Yeah, Wario and the gang are actually easy to deal with because you have more time to react. Richard is hard to deal with because you have to react just like... Like, you have to react to him at a certain time because he attacks faster than the others. Okay. Okay, this time I am ready for you, Richard. I'm ready for you, Richard, this time at 4 a.m. I'm ready for you. Don't think I don't know that you come from the hole because I now know you do. And I may, I may get overconfident a bit, Richard, but don't worry. I'm, I'm going to deal with you and beat this night. And it'll be game over for you, Richard. Okay, what was that noise? Was that Richard McCroy entering the house? I don't know. He, I, I feel like he enters the house at like 2 or 3 a.m. And then he comes down to the cellar at 4 a.m. And Richard McCroy takes over at 4 a.m. Because he's the only one active. And then Wario and the friends are active until 3 a, until um until 3 a.m. And then at 4 a.m. Richard's active and the others are not. Okay, speaking of, it's 3 a.m. And Richard's going to come any minute to try to kill me. Or as so he might have thought. Game on, Richard. Game on. And I just had to deal with Waluigi. God, I feel like the walk-ins Luigi or Richard McCroy. I get very intimidated at 3 a.m. Because I know Richard's entered the house and he's coming. I just had to deal with Wario. Okay, it's almost 4 a.m. Richard's going to come, and I know his laughter is going to startle me. Okay. It's going to turn to 4 <laughs> 4 a.m. Richard, I've Richard, I've come to deal with you. Be prepared for me. Okay, I need to react fast to Richard cuz he is really fast this night. And I'm assuming he's going to have the same mechanics as the others. Ah, Richard. Oh my god. I Okay. I just flashed my light at him for a second, and he just killed me. Okay. Okay, so for Richard McCroy, I gotta only flash my light in this area. The, the middle and the, um... Okay, you know what? I gotta check for Richard McCroy all over the place. And I have to look away at the right time. When I'm dealing with him. Because he is fast this night. Mighty fast. And I have very little time to react to him. I don't care how many tries it takes Richard McCroy. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you no matter what. Mario. Wario. Alright. I gotta move quickly for... Oh, here's Luigi. I stopped him. Okay, so when Richard McCroy is active, I have to move really fast. Because I only have little time to react to him because he's faster than the others. Okay. Waluigi. He's here.
Mario, I got him. And so far, I think I got, ki I got killed by Richard McCroy like once or twice in this video. Yep, I saw Wario, looking away from him. And Richard McCroy is the final boss, basically, because he's the only one active at, f at 4 a.m., because the others are not active after 3 a.m. Okay, it's 3 a.m. That means Richard McCoy is going to enter the house any minute. And then at 4 a.m. he's coming. Yep. Yeah, I know, I know what that door opening sound means. That means Richard McCoy opened the door and he's now in the house. And I just had to deal with Mario and Waluigi when I, right after I heard Richard McCoy opening the door. And that means he's going to come down to the cellar at 4 a.m. Okay, I just got rid of Luigi. And the others are going to leave soon because Richard's going to come at 4 a.m. to the cellar. And he opens the door at 3 a.m. Yeah, that's Wario. I just don't want him. And I have no idea how Richard can fit in the hole. Yep. I gotta move fast, because Richard's mighty fast this night. <laughs> ah! Richard's, Richard's at the left, so I gotta look away. And he has the same sound cues as Wario and the gang does. God, Richard's laughter is so creepy. It's spontaneous. <laughs> ah! Richard's in the hall, the hall, the front, the hallway, the middle, so I have to stare at him completely. Okay, we're doing well so far. It's 5 a.m. We made it to 5 a.m. We didn't die at 4 a.m., thankfully. Okay, I gotta keep my eyes on Richard. I'm scared, but I gotta do this. Richard's on the right, so I gotta look to the left. Okay, good. I got rid of Richard on the right. So if Richard comes from the left or right, look the opposite direction. If he comes from the hole or the middle, the hole we have to put the night vision up. Oh my god. And I just unlocked an achievement. I just beat Knife 5 after dying to Richard McCroy twice. Oh my god. What do we have next? Two weeks ago. Okay, we have a cutscene. Oh, thank God I beat Night 5. Richard McCrory was so stressful. Oh, there's Wario in the gang. What's happening? Okay, they're confronting Rosalina. What's happening? Rosalina's casting her wand. She's making a spell of some sort. Oh, she's trying to send the souls back in time. Oh, wait, there's Richard McCroy. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Richard McCroy. Oh, my God, he has a knife. Oh, God. Oh, God, Richard McCroy just 
stabbed Rosalina. And now Wario just attacked. Ah! Oh my god, Rosalina has a black demented eye. This world's only hope is now on our side. Nothing can stop us. <laughs> okay, Richard McCoy is laughing. Hours later... She's gone. Our only hope at stopping this is gone. What are we gonna do? Wait. Look. I have another idea. What do you mean? Just follow me. Okay, what's happening? What is this? Wario's time machine? We have to go back in time, ourselves, and save her. Okay. 